Hi YouTube, it's Molly and today is my six week post-op VSG update. Um, don't have a ton to talk about this week, but I did have another really good loss and that's exciting and it's changing my plan a little bit. Um, so on week four, I had um, a small loss. I had a loss of 1.6 pounds and I knew that I was getting in more carbs than I really wanted to, but I was getting in the protein that I needed through having a couple of glasses of milk. And my uh, nutritionist had said that it was okay if my carbs were around 50 as long as I was getting the protein in that I needed. And um, after that 1.6, I was like, well, I'm getting to the point where I can get in protein without the milk. Um, you know, I'm, I'm liking the isopure more and more, and that has no carbs, so maybe I can do more isopure and less milk. And then um, over these past two weeks, finishing up the milk that I had, I've had really good losses. And um, I think it's because I'm getting in uh, the protein that I need. So maybe it's okay to have my carbs around 50. So. Um, for right now, while I'm doing well, I think I'm going to keep that in the plan. Um, so this week I lost another 5.8 pounds. So that puts me at a total loss of 55.2 pounds. And that's including the uh, two-week pre-op diet. So in two months total, I've lost 55.2 pounds, which is crazy. That's like almost a pound a day for two months. And um, that's kind of mind blowing to me and it keeps me going because like that, that 1.6 pound loss, I was like, really is it slowing down this quickly? But when you look at things with the bigger picture and see that I'm losing almost a pound a day on average still, that's just beyond anything that I could expect. So um, I'm really excited that I've had two big weeks in a row, the 6.8 and now the 5.8. So I'm not going to be completely bummed if next week's small, but I'm going to push um, to make it another good loss because I am 4.8 pounds away from Twonderland, and I do not remember the last time I was under 300 pounds, so I would love to hit that mark by next week. That would be amazing. Um, so I think that's my goal. I know it's probably not going to happen just because I've already had a couple of really, really good losses in a row, so it may or may not happen, but I'm going to push to make sure it happens. So um, that means protein, water, and walking. It's been my plan. It's been working. Um, so something that I didn't mention last week, and I think it was because it had just started on the day of my update, or I wasn't exactly sure what was going on, um, but for the past week, uh, I've had some really sharp upper, upper left quadrant abdominal pain. Um, to, at this point, it's basically only when I bend over. But since I'm away from home, my surgeon's office is going to send me for a CT scan. And then while I'm there, I'm also going to get blood work done because I've been having issues with um, having my, my extremities, my feet, and my hands, um, and actually all all of my arms, and then just my feet going numb. They get that like tingly, like they're falling asleep. But it could happen like when I'm walking, like. So I'm gonna get blood work when I'm done there um, with the CT scan. So hopefully I'll get answers to both of those things. Um, I've heard some people say that it may be constipation that's causing the abdominal pain. For me, it seems like it's way more stabbing pain than constipation could ever cause, but I could be wrong, and I've been um, working on fixing that problem, so eating some foods that should move some things along and um, adding in um, Metamucil, even though it's carbs, which is killing me. But I'm logging it, and that's what counts. I'm not letting things go without being noticed. So. Um, Thursday will be the day I go for those things, and hopefully I'll get some answers, and I'll update you guys whenever that happens. Um, so I think the last thing 
I wanted to talk about was I met somebody here in Texas um, who's had surgery and it was such a great experience and um, I would highly suggest if you're ever out someplace where you can meet new people that you, you've spoken to online and interacted with to get out and meet them because it's an absolutely wonderful experience and it's nice to be able to connect with people who really truly know what you're going through and what you're experiencing and it, as much as support from family and friends helps there's no way that somebody can understand what exactly it is that you're going through so to be able to just talk um, with somebody who, who really does know it's, it's really a great experience and I'd suggest you know if you're traveling get out and, and meet new people or you know find people around your home and, and get um, get together and, and learn from each other and be there to support each other because it really is a different experience in person and you know the, the online support is great but um, it was really great to like actually get out and meet somebody um, we went and got mani petties my first time ever. I'm kind of liking it. My toes will look pretty for my Twunderland picture when I'm standing on the scale. And the scale says 2.99. Now my feet won't look all nasty. So you guys can thank her for that because I will be posting a picture when I get to see a two in front of my weight. And now my toes will look pretty like my fingers. So um, yeah, it was a great experience, and I would I would highly recommend it. So. Um, if there's anybody else in Texas, come join us. I'm in College Station. She's in College Station. If you're anywhere nearby or having to venture over here within the next eight weeks while I'm here, I'd love to meet some more people because it, it really was a great experience. So with that being said, keep getting in your water, your walking, and your protein because it works. Have a great day, everyone.